and we'll launch the music app. And the first thing you'll notice is we've got a set of featured stations that our programming team have created. So you can see the songs that are trending on Twitter right now, or even the songs that you guys are all going to hear this week at WWDC. <laughs> but I feel like summer songs. So you just tap. And once you have a station you love, you can just tap the I, and you could share it with a friend, or even create a new station based on this artist or song. I can easily skip to the, see what's the next song. Go back to stations, but it's not just the featured stations that we provide. You can create your own stations. Here are some that I previously created. But I feel like doing something new. Now, our music team is providing you with hundreds of stations based on alternative, country, classic rock, but I feel like doing something a little more specific. How about some Led Zeppelin? with a great Led Zeppelin song. Um, let's go ahead and see what else is on this station. And a great thing is I can always modify the station. I can just tap the star and I can say play more songs like this or never play this song or add it to my wish list. Now I like this so let's play some more songs like this. Now another great feature of iTunes Radio is it keeps track of all of the songs that you're listening to across all the stations, all your devices, and you can get to them by just tapping history. You can see them all here, you can preview and buy right from there, and that's iTunes Radio.